Today, me and the technical team have made the short journey to West Heath where we're delivering the start of today's latest online assembly live from the Blues training ground. We've gone with a footballing topic today as there's been a lot in the news about Midlands football over the past few days with the managed situation at Blues and also the return to matches behind closed doors following the coronavirus outbreak. The main theme, however, of the assembly today is about a piece of Blues history and how it applies to us all, whether or not you're a Blues fan or whether or not you're a sports fan at all. Like a lot of Ed students based in South Birmingham, I'm a Blues fan, I'm a season ticket holder and grew up going to games with my dad, my granddad, my uncle and so on. Um, like a lot of young people at a young age, when you first start watching games, one of the first things that hits you is the support song, Keep Right On To The End Of The Road. It's quite a unique song, quite a long song, and when I was growing up I found some of the lyrics quite interesting, some of the words are quite old fashioned, like abode and partisan, but really what the lyrics are about to me are about overcoming adversity, being resilient, perseverant, and whatever obstacles you face in your life, if you show those qualities, you give yourself a chance of succeeding and getting to the end of the road. Also, the history behind the song is quite interesting, as you'll see in this video clip here. Earlier in the week, I asked a few other people what the lyrics of Keep Right On To The End Of The Road meant to them, and you'll see their takes on the song here. One of these clips is from a very famous ex-player named John Gale, who scored two goals in a cup final win at Wembley in 1991. Listen to these clips here, and what the lyrics of the song mean to all of these people. I'm Zoe, and I'm a physio, and I think the words of Keep Right On are important. When you're talking about being tired and journeying on at the end of your journey. I often help people who are recovering from illness and disability and having that mantra of wanting to just keep persevering and keep going, even though you might face adversity, you just gotta keep going forward and you'll get to a happier place at the end. Keep right on to the end of the road. The lyrics are a really strong parallel um, to life and, and the words really inspire me. And any success or successful person is underpinned by hard work, dedication and perseverance in really overcoming hurdles and adversity and the lyrics to the song really bring this out uh, in terms of keep right on till the end of the road and it really inspiring perseverance through the lines though you're tired and weary you still journey on um, so for me it's about never giving up giving your all to yourself and to your teammates and if you do this you will be able to guarantee success for yourself Growing up a Birmingham City fan, one of my earliest memories of St Andrews is trying to sing along to the words of Keep Right On. Um, I was really, really young and I remember being so embarrassed when my dad and his friend caught me. Um, they thought it was funny, but ultimately really, really cute. The song obviously means so much to me. You know, it's my football club's anthem and I've grown up with it. But there is something amazing and magical when thousands of fans sing together in unity. It doesn't really matter you know, which football club it is or you know, which sporting tournament you're at. Um, it can give you goosebumps. The lyrics that stand out to me are joys and sorrows. It sums up life. As a blues fan, there's definitely way more sorrows than joys, but it makes those joys that little bit extra special. It's very hard for a team like Birmingham City to win anything. So when they sing, keep right on to the end of the road, it's because they don't win very much. But it's not about the winning, it's about how hard they try on that pitch, how hard the fans sing, get behind them. you know 
you work hard, you deliver, you've got every chance of success. That's what matters. Keep right on to the end of the road. Keep grafting. And one day, you'll win the Carling Cup. Beat Arsenal at Wembley. And it's all worth it. The song for me personally is for pulling the blue shirt on and also w walking out, uh, hearing that atmosphere. And also uh, my memory, and it will stick into my head for the day I die, was at Wembley uh, singing it at half time. And the most of all, walking round after Wembley with a cup on my head and all the Blues fans are cheering and the volume, the passion, uh, the loyalty, the back of my spine, it was just like electrifying and it was something that I would never, never forget because I embraced that and being a part of, of a team uh, of nothing and just to hear the volume, all the Blues of 50,000 singing that it means it will stick out in my head and this, this is why it is a powerful song and uh, and it was a pleasure wearing the blue shirt and being a blue nose as well so there you have it keep right on a bit of history behind the song my take on it and some of the people's take on it always always remember the importance of never giving up i'm going to leave you now with the original version of the song take care Oh.